The JVC HM600 is a full HD camera with a high level RGB color resolution, a 29 to 600 millimeter 23 times zoom lens, built in microphone with balanced XLR audio inputs, and dual SD card slots. When the camera is checked out, it includes a tripod, audio cable, headphones, DC power adapter, battery, and three microphones. You should take a picture and or make an inventory of all the equipment. It's vital that you learn to keep track of and take care of equipment you are responsible for. Treat it as if it were yours. Note that the tripod's camera plate stays attached to the camera. This is not a common practice because the tripod is worthless without its camera plate. We do this for ease of use, since we pair all our cameras with a specific tripod. But remember, this is not the norm in professional video film production. The battery is given to you separately, since it will need to be charged when you return the camera. The battery is kept in a different cabinet. It is not stored in the camera bag. The camera-mounted microphone is secured with the microphone holder and will be plugged into input one. The camera also comes with a handheld or stick mic and a lavalier or clip-on microphone. The second mic will be plugged into input two. Never use the handheld microphone when shooting an interview. Most people will not know how to hold it. A lavalier mic can be clipped onto a shirt or a lapel, and your interview subject won't need to think about it. If you need a shotgun microphone with a fish pole, they can be checked out separately. Let's get started with the basics. The tripod should always be placed in its bag with the head of the tripod at the same end where the zipper ends up. This way you can always put the tripod down on its feet when it's in the bag. Step one in setting up the tripod. Move the pan handle away from the legs. Step two, extend the bottom riser of the tripod, building the tripod from the bottom up. Step three, with the pan handle out of the way, you can flop the legs open. If you need to raise the tripod more, the top risers are easy to access. Slide the camera onto the tripod from the back. Center it and finger tighten the plate lock. To take the camera off, loosen the plate lock, then press the release button as you slide the camera back. Examining and understanding how the tripod mechanism works will make this process easier and will help you learn to use other tripods in the future. Level the camera by loosening the center lock under the middle of the tripod, then using the bubble as a leveling reference. Find the contact points on the battery and the camera's battery slot. Find the battery release button. Install and remove the battery. Find the DC power input. Note that you can use the camera to charge the battery. With the power off, connect the DC power supply and install the battery. You will see the charge light blinking. It will go out when the battery is fully charged. Turn the camera on, open the lens cap, and open the LCD screen. Find the SD card slots. On the LCD screen, you should see the battery life and SD card capacity in the upper left. Below that is the format you are recording, and in the lower left is the small audio meter. In the upper right is the time code reading. Below that is the manual focus icon with a distance indicator and the ND filter setting, if the ND filter is on. And in the lower right, you should see the gain in decibels, the aperture's f-stop setting, shutter speed, and the white balance display. If you don't see this information, press the display button to change the information visible on the LCD screen. Using the menu on the LCD screen or on the side of the camera, navigate to the system menu, then to record set then to record format. Set the recording format to HD H264 1920 by 1080 60i XHQ
continuing the menu access. Find and change the settings for gain found in the camera function menu. Access the LCD VF menu. Then shooting assist and confirm that the zebra function is set to 100%. Find the zebra button which hides and reveals the zebra stripes on the LCD screen. Remember, the zebra stripes are only a reference for video that is 100 IRE or higher and will not be recorded onto your footage. Locate the full auto switch and observe the iris, shutter speed, gain, and white balance settings go in and out of automatic when you turn this switch on and off. Note that when the camera is in auto white balance, the screen displays FAW for full auto white balance. Find the focus switch and make sure it is always set to manual. Locate the ND filter and observe what happens when it is switched to its variable intensities. The ND filter should only be used when shooting in sunlight. Think of this function as sunglasses for the lens. Find the gain, shutter speed, and white balance automatic manual toggle buttons. Never use these unless you find that one of those settings has been inadvertently switched into automatic mode. Locate the iris automatic manual toggle button and put the camera in automatic iris mode. Find the white balance AB preset switch and set the switch to A or B. Never use the preset white balance setting. White balance the camera by placing a white piece of paper in front of the lens. Make sure the light you are shooting in is on the paper. Press the white balance execute button to the right of the AB preset switch. Make note of the color temperature the camera displays. Put the camera back to manual iris mode. Frame up a shot and locate the iris ring. Adjust the iris slightly brighter and darker and observe the F number change. Locate the silver dial on the side of the camera and adjust the shutter speed by pressing the up and down buttons. Change the gain by flipping the gain switch between L, M, and H. These settings were seen in the menu earlier in this tutorial. Zoom all the way in on a small item and turn the focus ring until it is sharp. Now turn the focus ring so the item is out of focus and locate the push auto button for focus. Hold that button down and observe the auto focus laser measuring the distance and setting the focus for you. Locate the manual servo zoom control switch and zoom the camera using the zoom ring and both servo controls. Note that the handle zoom control can be set to variable, fixed, or off. Attach the camera mounted microphone and plug it into input 1. Plug the XLR audio cable into input 2. Plug the lavalier microphone into the other end of the XLR cable and install a AA battery in the lavalier microphone's battery chamber. Assign input 1 to record to channel 1 and input 2 to record to channel 2. Set both inputs to mic plus 48V. This will send power to the microphones from the camera battery. Set the audio level controls to manual. Always use headphones to monitor the audio you are recording. Clip the lavalier microphone onto yourself and plug in the headphones. Find the status button and navigate to the page with the audio meter. Set the audio level so the voice peaks between minus 12 and minus 20 on the audio meter. There are three different record buttons on the JVC HM600. The most commonly used is the one just behind the handle grip. 
To check your footage, enter playback mode by pressing and holding the mode button below the power switch. Use the LCD joystick to find and play your footage. Wrap all the equipment back the same way you found it. Refer to your picture and or inventory to make sure everything's accounted for. Now that you've seen all the main functions, we encourage you to check out the camera and review this material hands-on in the equipment checkout area. You can also take another tutorial with an instructor or tutor before you try to pass the checkoff exam, which is required to receive your camera card. Once you have your camera card, you can take the camera out to shoot your class assignments.